Live from Uppsala, Fight Club Rush presents three five-minute rounds at a contracted weight of 64 kilograms. Introducing first in the blue corner, his record one win and no defeats, weighing in at 63.3 kilograms, fighting out of Sweden, Kevin Osorio. And his opponent in the red corner with a record of two wins and no defeats. Weighing in at 63.9 kilograms, fighting out of Sweden, Ali Yazbek! Your referee in charge of the action, Dan Eklund. Dan the man, Eklund in charge of this catchweight contest between Kevin Osorio in the blue corner and Ali Yazbek in the red. Also a meeting between Stockholm and Malmo. Combination that usually delivers. All right, here we go. No touch of gloves. I like that. I don't like when they touch gloves. I mean, they can hug afterwards, right? <laughs> yeah, they can hug afterwards. A lot of respect shown early. Both fighters kind of stopped at a at a range that was quite far away. But this, that's really interesting. That means that they're so respectful of each other's like like abilities, and they know that they're not dealing with anybody here. Yeah, these are two top-notch talents, and if there's anybody well aware of that, it's you know both of them. Long front kick there from Yazbek, which is a good strategy for him. I don't think Yazbek is too worried about being taken down off of his kicks. Yeah, definitely not. Oof. Yeah, loading up there is Osorio with that right hand. Lots of fakes from Yazbek trying to gauge the reactions of his opponent. And Osorio hasn't been in the cage for over five years. You can see that he's, he's taken in this moment, not rushing anything. Because compared to training, Osorio is not looking like himself at the moment, it, a lot more composed. Oof. He's an absolute pit bull in training, and now you can see it come out of him. Maybe he needed to get hit a little bit. I mean, ring rust is a real thing, and in five years is, I mean, that's, that's some ring rust right there. Oh, oh my God, connected there. I like the way Yazbek is really listening to his corner and not rushing anything. Yazbek looks really relaxed as well. And it's one heck of a corner that Yazbek has as well. He trains under UFC veteran um, Hamid Akira Kurasani, one of the greatest minds in Swedish MMA. That was a nice right hand that Yazbek landed Listen, as well. Osorio needs to get, like, get Yazbek to respect him. Because yeah. he, he needs to go in there and land something really hard. That's the only way Yazbek is going to respect him. And yet he has not been able to do anything. I felt like... Uh, Yazbek changed his energy after he kind of felt Osorio. He felt yeah. him up against the cage, and yes. now he has more of a relaxed, calmness, demeanor to him. Uh, it's almost like, okay, I've felt you now, and now I feel comfortable. And sometimes when you feel someone in the cage, you can either get comfortable or very stressed. Yes, and that's what Osorio needs. So he needs to feel him out. He needs to get go there and get his hands on him. Yeah. And, you know, being away from the cage for a long time, the distance can be a bit wrong. Sometimes he just, he, my personal opinion, he needs to crawl a bit closer and get a little bit, he needs to stress Yazbek out. And he's not stressing him. Yazbek is stressing him right now. Yeah, that's a great point, Verpani. And Yazbek has stayed so active. Uh, huge difference in activity. I don't know if Osorio is waiting for that perfect punch, but he needs to bring that perfect punch. Like, he needs to find a way to find it, like, himself right now. Well, I mean, he's tough as nails. No question about that. I mean, anyone who's tattooed their head, you know that they're one tough customer. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I have tattoos in my arms, and they hurt, so <laughs> come on. Yeah. I didn't like the way that sort of Osorio looked away or looked down as he threw that strike. Well, his distance is kind of off right now. When, like, he doesn't, like, he's not sure where, where the right hand is going to hit. Yeah, he's still struggling to find his groove, his, his Osorio. Oh, 
Marcy Nice jab from uh, Yazbek. Right now, Osorio is kind of closing his eyes and throwing that one two Hail Mary. Um, and Yazbek is really controlling the distance. And yeah, you could just feel like Yazbek is very comfortable right now, and Osorio needs to take him by surprise. Maybe go for a, a faint, faint the takedown and come up with the right hand, perhaps. That's a good point there. I, I do think that perhaps the, the length and range of Yazbek is giving him some issues. I do believe that Yazbek is the tallest opponent that uh, Osorio has fought, but he landed a strike there. Except for Henrik okay, Kedishian, maybe. He needs, he yeah. needs yeah. to feel him out. That's exactly what he needs, because now, now Yazbek is kind of stressed. And now you can see he has wind in his sails. Osorio is moving forward, looking more like himself. He just needed that connection by the looks of things. Yes. Getting that confidence that, yeah, I'm also in this fight. I can hurt him just as easily as he can hurt me. It's just all about putting it together. And also one of the reasons as to why Osorio was gone for those for five years is because he struggled with a gruesome knee injury. Mm -hmm. uh, he had to undergo surgery, and he was gone from training for a while, uh, a good while. But he has been training uh, now, I, I mean, for over a year, two years mm -hmm. even. Can't, can't even remember. It's been a long time, but... I mean, this first round was really, you know, Osorio trying to find his range and Yazbek just gaining more and more comfortability in there. How did Osorio just eat that knee like it was nothing? Yeah. I mean, he ate it like a premium slice of New York pizza. That right yeah, hand that, connected yeah, exactly. better than I thought, yeah. And that's what he when he like felt like he could move forward yeah. and that's what he needs like much earlier this round like in round two he needs to go out there and put his put his hands on Yazbek. Yeah, definite tension in the air for this one you get the feeling that it could be over in just a blink of an eye So for the first time in the pro fight so far, we go to a second round. It really speaks to the level of excitement that we've been gifted here. It's been crazy. And Yazbek's coach, Akira Korsani, calling several times for discipline. Oh, that was a big swing in the misfire for Osorio. I think he might want to set those strikes up a little bit more. For sure. Some jabs, fakes, feints. And especially him being way smaller, shorter, he needs to take way more steps in. So just the, like it's not just like distance work for him. He needs to get much closer. And that's you know what I find so impressive with a fighter like Alex Volkanovsky. It's like he's always shorter, mm -hmm. but he's just he, he manages to just be in range and outstrike his opponents. And he, it doesn't look like he's working his way in like most short fighters need to. He just controls the range. It's Footwork. super impressive. And yeah. he's just like, he's always making sure that he's close enough. Because it's worse if he's further away, but it's always better for him to be closer. And that's kind of the same thing with Osario. He always needs to be closer. Yeah. Now, every time Osorio lands, you can see a pep in his step. Yes. When he feels that he's landing, he gains confidence. And then maybe he loses confidence for a couple of seconds. And then he lands something, then he gets confidence back. I mean, there's so, I mean, MMA is so much about momentum as well. Oh, that was a nicely timed take Very down nice. there for Yazbek. That was beautiful. Right in front of Osorio's corner. Osorio is a brown belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Likes to train uh, mostly no gi, but does train in the gi as well. In the corner, you have third degree or fourth degree black belt Altan Celik and also Vasio Adeshina cornering Kevin Osorio in this tough moment. Full mount for Ali Yazbek. Yeah, this is a, a tough position for Osorio for sure. And I mean, a dream come true in this fight for Yazbek, who gets a fantastic opportunity to land strikes. With like three minutes to go, full mount. Oh, sorry, we really need to work here. Yeah. yeah Ali Yazbek's corner saying that he's going to give up his back. Yes. He's going to give you the back. But Osorio, oh, yep. I like the way he tried to get the half guard back, at least get the half guard back. It looked like he was going to get it. Yes, without giving up the back. 
I mean, it is tough. Like, the way Yazbek is holding on to the mound as well, he's really squeezing with his, like, uh, his knees as well. I would like him to move a bit higher up, but he is taking his back right now, almost. Tough spot for Kevin wow. Osorio. He took the back. Wow, wow, great work. Great work from Osorio. A yeah, very nice adjustment there for sure. I mean, and that's the difference between the amateurs and the pros. He does everything right, but still kind of ends up short. Yeah. But he does everything right. It's just that Yasbek does it a little bit better. For sure. You know, Yasbek studies finance at Lund University, and his grappling is something you can really count on. Sebastian Wendland Martinez, everybody. <laughs> Call me the pun isher. Oh, Great work. Getting there. up his neck. Wow. Yeah, but. Osorio. No. <laughs> Osorio can stand up on his like knees right now. Get up. Oh. I'm loving these grappling exchanges yeah. here. Yes. Yeah. Yasbik is just super resentless when he's like on top. And the pressure he gets from his corner still, like even though he's dominating in this fight, he still gets a lot of pressure, which I like. Yeah. So he doesn't slack or anything. He's super active. A very, very strong round thus far for Ali Yazbek. Wouldn't mind seeing some knees to the body, but oh wow, great timing Great timing, there. yeah. Great timing for sure. Okay, he's got flat. his back now. Yeah. But Osorio doesn't lie flat in those tough positions. He keeps moving. Now, Os Yazbek is landing some elbows right now. Using his head to make space as well. That's a nice move. Oh, that was a big strike that got through. Yeah. Oh, go for rear naked choke. Trying to lock up the hand position, but I don't think he's gonna have time. Uh, both fighters are kind of resting here, talking to each other. Another dominating round for Yazbek. Yeah. Got to show off some of that grappling of his. And I mean, all things considered, it's probably 2-0 in rounds for Yazbek. There's that well-timed take down there. Yeah. You get the outside leg trip, and here's that ground and pound. I gotta say, though, Osori doing fantastic defensive work, both in terms of defensive grappling, getting out of those for tough sure. spots, mm -hmm. but even the way that he defends against the ground and pound is really admirable. Very, very stern words there from Mac head coach Altan Celic, CM, you train with him. What do you think he's telling Osorio? Tell him, telling him to wake up, telling him to, to be himself in there. Um, like what I saw from Kevin Osorio in his professional debut was so much personality, so much confidence. It looks like he, he, he's, he's one of those fighters, he needs uh, the wind under his sails. He's a, he's a Miedvins fighter. You know, if, if, right. if, if he gets the wind under his sails, he, he becomes absolutely amazing. And right now, um, the wind is blowing in his face, and the wind is called Ali Yazbek right now. And oh, yeah. Kevin Osorio is not a fighter that should be moving backwards. And Yazbek is forcing him to right now. Really liking the kicks from Yazbek as well, utilizing that height and reach advantage. He's so coachable, Ali Yazbek. Mm -hmm. Everything that Coach Akira Khorasani says, he does. Yeah, you can really see that he's listening to every kind of like coaching he gets. It's very present in there. I just, I just like would say exactly what uh, Osorio's coach would have said to him is, yeah, of course, wake up. But it's not only that. Focus. I don't think he. I don't think he looks focused. It's something in him. 
he just needs to go in there and just now like, he's cut yeah, too. Yeah, he's cut too. But maybe that will wake him up. Maybe that will like. Ooh. Oh my God! That was almost an illegal strike. Was, yeah. That I thought it was. He needs to go in there and find a dog in him because there is a dog in him. Yeah, he just yeah. needs sure. to find it. And just maybe just stop thinking so much, just going in there and just letting his hands go. Yeah, and you can see when, when Yazbek is hitting him with that jab, just like on the top of the head, Osorio is, uh, he stops in his tracks. So Ooh. that was a very nice knee from Ali Yazbek. But somehow this is better. He yeah, needs exactly, this. Yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly. Yeah, this is some of the best pressure we've seen all fight for Osorio. Yeah. And that's what he needs. He needs to like put Yazbek on his like on his heels. Like now, like blood running down the face and chest of Osorio, but he is looking. Oh, he's looking sharp. He's looking hungry. He's not throwing enough though. Yeah, more ah, needs more. Good. Nice work from Yaz, but he recognized that, okay, well, Sawyer is getting dangerous. He's, you know, a, a big connection is probably not far away. Time the time to take down and took it to, to less dangerous waters. Yeah, beautiful passing work. Very systematic. Full guard to half guard, half guard to mount, slices yeah. through him like butter. That's beautiful. And then Osari is really good on the ground, but you know, when you have Yazbek on top of you, it really doesn't matter. Yeah, it's... He's just so technical and he works like in steps, like you said. Maybe going for the arm triangle, but nah. A minute and a half left to go here. Third and final round between Ali Yazbek, Kevin Osorio. Osorio is really good at not giving up his back. I'm really impressed by that. It just like, if, it also feels like Yazbek is like so much stronger. He's always one step ahead. Exactly, one step ahead. Oh, nice solid strikes here from Yazbek. Yeah. I mean, I mean, the thing that's saving Osorio is that he's always moving. Yeah. He, he's not letting the ref, like, even think about it because he's always moving from the position. Lesser fighters would have given up. Yes. Felt like, oh, my God, I'm tired. I'm losing this fight. I don't want to move around anymore. I like that back take that Yasmin just did. Yeah, he's really mixing it up here. Really mixing up his attacks. If Osorio could turn now really fast. Yeah, that's... Easier said than done. Yes, much easier said than done. 20 seconds left here. And Yazbek is going to move on to 3-0. I mean, yes. His star is shining so bright right now. Wow. Because, oh, that's a good... That was beautiful, Rosario. Oh. Oh. Well, a little bit too late. I mean, a bit of a moral victory perhaps at the end for Osorio, but in the end, a very, very strong performance for Yazbek. And even stronger when you think about how good Osorio is. He didn't necessarily get a chance to show what he's really capable of here. But uh, yeah, a very enjoyable fight and a great performance for Yazbek. I mean, it is underrated, but you've been away for four to five years that you're, you're back. That is the biggest win of all. Like, yeah. if you're coming back from a really bad injury, I mean, yeah. this is everything. Yeah. 15 minutes in the cage as well. A lot of cage time. Yeah, there's no doubt in my mind that Osorio will return stronger and better than ever after this. Right then, the scorecards are collected. Let's hand it over to Tricky Ricky. 
Uh, ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards. All three have it 30 to 26. For your winner by unanimous decision and still undefeated, Ali Yazpak! All right, I'm here for your winner. And like Ricky Wright said, still undefeated, 3 and 0. Oh. Two submission finishes before this, and now a dominant 30 26 decision. Your star is shining so bright. How are you feeling? <sighs> That's how I feel. Taking in the moment. We were talking about in the walk ins, you finding your Zen moment at a grappling competition. Your confidence and your sense of balance is so on display. The way that you timed the takedowns, you were piecing him up with the, the knees, the, the high kicks, but you hit him with everything but the kitchen sink. He would not go away. What were you thinking when you were landing all those strikes and he just keeps coming at you? Uh, well, I tried as, as much as I can. I tried to listen to my coach. That's everything I think about. And uh, being a pro, I'm a pro. If you didn't know, now you do! Pro! That's right, a pro for sure. And, I mean, you really could do it all in there. You landed the knees, the strikes, and then the takedowns were great, the grappling transitions, but you couldn't quite get the submission. He was moving around. What was missing there for, to getting the finish? Uh, well, I don't know. It's maybe first time in the third round. Uh, the first round, like, we've been talking so much about the stand-up, all this camp or the last four or five weeks. So I didn't have any grappling on my mind. So when I well got to the ground, I didn't feel like I was who I am or I usually am. But also credit to Kevin, like he, he didn't, he's bulky. It's hard to get the rear naked choke on those guys. But uh, next time I'll do everything I can to do, get a finish bus. A win is always what I want and please the people around here. I hope they enjoyed the show. I'm sure they did. I'm sure they did. That's my job. Yeah, well, I think everyone wants to know, when are you going to continue with your job? It was a joy watching this fight, watching you transition from position to position, from strike to strike. What's next for Ali Azbek? Well, manager and coach and friend, co-manager, we can call him. Those are the guys who decide. And uh, of course, I have to give props to my team. Akira, Pute, my manager, Said, my best friend, and all the other best friends I have here, <laughs> of course. And of course, Johannes, Carlos, all my training partners. I'm not a one-man army. I'm Red Line Army. Well, the Red Line Army marched in here and got the win. Whenever you return, we'll be happy to see it. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Ali Yaz.